hello youtube just want to show you my simple setup here so what i did here is that i use a laptop charger to charge this lead acid battery using a charge controller in between at first i tried using the laptop charger what happened was that the laptop charger got burns so i want to show you how you can properly use a laptop charger without damaging any of your appliances so here is what i did this is a laptop charger and this is a current limiter and this simple calculation that was made okay what happened here was that at first when I tried using the laptop charger this charge controller draws draw much current from the laptop charger till the charger got overheated and burns so what I did here is that I use the resistor as a current limiter so this is the calculation you use to determine the the rating of your resistor just a simple calculation voltage equals to current multiplied by resistance so the inputs of the laptop i mean i mean the output of the laptop charger is 19 volts and I want 14.4 volts to come into this laptop charger. So you minus the 19 volts from the laptop charger. I mean, you minus 14.4 volts you want that you want to come into the charge controller from the output of the laptop charger. That gives you your V is equal to two hams. I want two hams to flow into the battery to charge. I want to use two hams to charge this battery. So I I used two hams. So from there I got my resistance. I mean my resistor value. So R is equal to two point three hams. So um two point three ohms. So what this does is that. It limits this 4.2 amps, the current coming from the laptop charger. It limits it to 2 amps. And the voltage that flows through the charge controller is being stepped down to 14.4. So this worked fine. I tested it yesterday and it charged my battery up to. 14.4 before I ran out of before they took power. Anyway, let me get back to my calculation. So from there you get the power rating of your resistor. So the power rating of my resistor here is 10 watts. That's why I use the 10 watts resistor here. So with that, you can charge your battery, your lead acid battery, using a laptop charger safely. And what this battery does here is that it powers my DC fan. This is my fan. And it powers these LED bulbs here I mean LED lights here and the radio here a portable speaker exciting today there's a whole lot of drama uh, that we're waiting to see of course um starting from the home front where there'll be an extraordinary congress in abuja and, uh, and 
this give me I like the output I get from this setup and at the same time I can connect my UPS to this chart controller to get an AC output from here so that I can charge my phone and I can also charge my phone here using this USB port here or yeah using a car charger so that was all for now thanks for watching